Buying and selling properties in the real estate market brings, you know, uncertainty and emotions, especially in a time of unprecedented housing shortage. Fortunately, here in Rhode Island, England Volkers is here to help you through the process. And joining us today is broker associate Vicki Pizzarelli. Good morning, Vicki. Good morning. Thanks for coming in. Thank you for having me. Um, so you have joined the uh, the team at uh, Engel and, and Volkers. So why did you want to be part of this team? And you guys are located in East Greenwich, right on Main Street, right? Correct. Yeah. We have an office in Warren. Right. Yeah. Um, I just like the um, the presence they have, okay. and they have um, that luxury presence as well as re as well as for regular homeowners, um, in not the luxury market. Um, I own my own brokerage for the past eight years, and um, I was looking to make a change in my career, and right. I didn't go to anybody else, and I went right to them because I just love their marketing and their presence, and they're doing a great job over there. Plus, they got a global and national. Reach. Well, you see the signs all over the. I mean, yeah. you do see, see the signs all over the place too, which which is which is a great which is a great thing too. So look, I mean, we all know th there are a ton of real estate agents. I mean, you can't drive down the street without seeing seeing a place or seeing a sign. So what sets you apart from the other folks? I think well, what sets us apart is that we um, our, our motto is full service, no shortcuts. Got it. And we just give that extra oomph than most other people do and marketing is a big part of the real estate industry which a lot of people don't seem to realize that or take that into factor you know, right into consideration yeah. as well and you know the, the two of us we were just talking look it is a tough time to for folks to go out and find a house right now yes. as well so so what does the housing market look like I mean you know we just got a little time left in this year as hard to believe as it is and then next year starts up again are we seeing this trend continuing on through 2024 which is you know you say 2024 and you're it's like here. oh my god <laughs> <It's> <laughs> yeah. Here. Yeah. how did that happen right um, I, I think the market right now is, is slow but right. it always is slow this time of the year so I I think everybody tends to like go for the doom and gloom right away. <laughs> I've been doing this for over 30 years, so I've seen a lot of up and downs. Sure. And this is the time of the year when things do slow down. They slow down even more so when you get into the holiday season. Right. I do foresee next year being a very good market. I think the rates will come down a little bit because it's an election year, so history proves rates come down during election years. Sure. And I think it's still going to be a strong seller's market. Do you have any advice for people who may be watching this morning and are saying, look, I, I, I may want to sell my house. Is now the right time to sell the house, or should I hang on to it for a little while longer? I think you have. that's a personal decision that somebody has to make. It's always the right time if it's good for you. And I believe that if you want to sell, I think if you want to get all the money for your house, I think you should do it at least by 2024. Got it. Because I don't know what 2025 is going to bring. It, it, you know, it's all based on politics with, with the real estate sure, market. Sure. So we don't know where it's going. And you were telling me that you have a, uh, is it a development that you're, you've been selling homes in? Yes. Yes, yep. which is great. Yep. And has it been uh, you know, a lot of people coming to see you because it is easier to kind of maybe move into something like this than a, than a single family home? Well, what I'm finding, because I'm more involved, I've been getting involved with new, new construction. I put up a new development called Cherry Blossom Estates in Johnston. Sounds nice. And um, <laughs> Do we have properties we need to move? <laughs> <laughs> and um, I, I think that um, people go more towards a new construction route because they're spending like six months looking for a house when they can wait that six months and already have their home and not have that competition with the other sure, buyers. Sure, sure, and get something brand new yeah. and you know kind of fit to their fit to their needs. Thanks so, so much for coming in. Thank you for having. Good me. to have you. See, this was easy, right? <laughs> this wasn't so bad. This wasn't so bad. If you are thinking of buying or selling property, you can head on over to Roadshow.com for help with Engel and Volker's team.